Well, time to take a look at Sane, another entry in the 2018 Indie Game Maker Contest. Yeah, I know, it's over six years later, but I figured we'd go back through them anyway. Might as well, you know, knock off a few things I didn't take a look at, though. I have to admit, it is a bit annoying looking at games like this at this point, because these were never finished up. Like, this game is just as incomplete as when the contest ended. Um, so we're effectively looking at a demo for a project that was ultimately just abandoned. The sound of seven trumpets, they came to the lands of men. From the heavenly vault they ascended to fill the Father's will. Judgment Day, God's wrath and all its glory. The twilight of humanity had arrived. When a third of the world's population had been decimated, the desperate men decided to take measures to escape the Holy Hammer. Sent to the underworld, searching for... He who once denied God, the natural to save the human breed with such beasts, they made a deal. Changed from something viable, the demon agreed to take a selected human offspring into his abyssal garden. They'd live eternally, protected from the angelic torments. Oh, one day, restoring humanity, the sinful men offered the only pure sacrifice they had left. Here were the feelings of the children sent into that cave. They're only left with hope to prevent them from ending themselves throughout the long years that would remain darkness and fear. Be careful of the creatures dwelling in it. Oh, joy. Hope's quite a vague feeling, I believe. I have a hard time describing it. What brings thou hither, child? Oh, great. Two big eyes. Has he come up here to play with me in the dark? Sounds like a bad idea. I can see if thy true intent. I can feel it. I was come up here by ancient tradition. He's come up here to make a deal. Bring thy candle closer to me, child. This is the fire of thy soul. No bringeth light in the darkness that cometh. No shift such gift cometh without a price. Thou shalt sacrifice to me what thou holdest dear. Higher the value of this sacrifice holds for thee, the stronger the fire shall ignite. Now what shall it be? Joy. Last marriage from thy human life, perhaps a mother's crest, a first love, shall they offer these? Thy head on the depths of my grill. So, our pact is sealed. This light shall be thy only sanctuary from the horrors lurking in the dark. Shall I learn thy path, unveiling the truth from lie, protect it. Feed it thy courage, for it is thy very soul. Not ready. Farewell, thee child. I can't imagine there'd be anything else we could offer. Besides maybe our blood, but you know, then we'd be dead. Oof. And remember. If this lie of thine ever fades, thee shall belong to me. Forever got it. Ugh. Deals with demons never work out very well. And this intro feels a bit too long. Okay. Chandler, has it done? Indeed. The story's true. It's the Prometheus of the Depths, as scary as they say. How do they look like? Look like a pair of giant eyeballs floating in the air. A sight you don't want to come across twice in your life. What's that supposed to mean? You're funny, Chandler. I would laugh if I could. I don't get the lack of color. Alright, it's time to go now that you have the fire. We can move through the galleries of the grotto. 
First, I prefer a bigger group, but all the other children are too busy playing at the village, so it'll just be the two of us, okay? Any questions before we leave? Well, since we don't have any memories, I guess we can just say whatever, right? It's forbidden. The penalty for certain action is exile. I can't burn her with that responsibility. Yes. May I, your light lead the way. Abilities. Hope and fear, huh? Joy. Let me guess, you don't have any good gear. Okay. And there's no run option. That sucks. Ugh. Village is this way. We can't go there during playtime. There's no reason to return anyways. We have everything we need for our trip. Okay. I can't why don't they let me run? This is annoying. Yes, yeah, this door leads to the outer grotto. From here onwards, darkness awaits. We'll have to be wary of our light. If it fades, we'll get lost in the infinite galleries of the cave. Or even worse, we could get ambushed by who knows what kind of creatures lurk in the depths. Okay. I guess. Yes, we have hope we'll prevail. <laughs> I don't. Gosh darn it. Ugh. Getting creepy vibes again. Okay. Yes, yeah, the dark side of the grow. Doing field work, right, Chandler? Let me explain the basics for you. Stick down our weapons under your candlelight. See the railroad? We stick to it and we never stray too far from the path. Should, huh? Gotcha. Well, Ra was like a mother to us children. She's been to good kids like us and terrible to those who defy it. Plants, those who were here before us, they all leave something behind as proof they once existed. Kind enough to bring it to us so we can nurture ourselves with it. So one day, you and I, Chandler, we will feed the mother as well. Okay. Well, now. Thanks to a local named Luciferin. Fascinating, isn't it? I know, right? Ah, uh, I know what you mean. Lucifer actually means bringer of light. I think that's why the adults named it this way. For the sake, glowing shrooms lead the way to hidden treasures. Oh, that sounds fascinating. Great. Ugh. Well, found some more wax. And a spider web. Joy. The fact that candle burns this fast really sucks. Because I don't have time to just keep reigniting it all the time. A stone, huh? Well... I don't have a key for you, man. Inventory. Okay, so it full restores the entire thing, so we want to wait until it gets way lower. 
Jeez. You think it would just fill up part of the gauge? Okay, now where to? Yeah, part of the problem is the game requires you to go exploring into the depths in order to keep enough stuff on hand to stay alive. Okay. Yeah, we're way off course. But maybe this will lead to something useful. Okay, stress ball. Okay. Yeah, of course it's what a stress ball does. Come on. Still gotta wait for it to get lower. And I'm sure that means creatures are at the edge of our vision too. Always waiting. Okay. Man, this candle goes out fast. Kind of annoying. Well, now. It's wrong. It's just spacing out. I think we'll be able to reach the surface. This only takes hope, right? Alright, thank you. Chandler, if you ever run off hope, then I'll share you some of mine. Think they're still up there? Who knows? Exchange of our feelings? I guess that's for us to find out. Felt to be human, to have parents to have feelings. I wish I could feel anything but hope and fear. What about you, Chandler? She starts only feeling what it would have to be. Well, getting ourselves distracted, huh? Well, now, a butterfly, huh? Is there something behind me? Too late now. So now, I went flying right to the path to the left. Aren't those supposed to be inside people? They can't just fly around like that. It's known feelings fly through these caves. If you ever get to catch one, you can eat it and then experience it for a brief moment until it tastes is well, there's no explanation as to why they exist down here, but make sure I tried them, and it really works. Yep. Really? We really shouldn't get lost in this row if we want to stay alive, man. If you say so. Okay, I guess there's another beaten off path there. Uh, being able to run would really help here. It really would. In a game like this, being able to run would be a lifesaver. You don't have to worry about the candle going out. Okay, cornered it. Carefully. Got it, I guess. Nothing good. Yep, trap. Well, great. Ah, this looks like I fell into some kind of passage. Great. I wish it was our nap time. Oh, don't, huh? I mean, the rocks might have been released. We need to leave this place quickly. And what am I supposed to do with the stone? Okay. Ugh. Another stone. Well, 
Well, found some wax. That'll come in handy, I suppose. Come on. Well, save again, I guess. Yes, let's go through the crack, all right. Oh, ancient ruins, huh? Well, no. As long as we can breathe. No records of ruins existing on the first floor. We could be the only children to ever set foot in this place. Well, no. Sorry I couldn't catch the feeling after all. Oh, that. I mean this one, but when? Okay. Well, I guess I'll praise you. Well, no. Joy. Fine, playing our journey. Besides, I would feel bad if I eat after everything I put you through. Wait, would I? Maybe I should try it now. Okay. Of course it is. Slap it reads, One sacrifice of love for the son's redemption. Sacrifice of pain for the father's salvation. One sacrifice of faith for the spirit's flames of passion. Joy. Hopefully our candle isn't burning out while I'm writing down this clue. Just so I don't have to read it multiple times, though I suppose, you know, it does help if we pause the flame. We could just do that with the menu. Okay. I also don't know how we're supposed to answer this if we don't have items, you know, nearby for the altar. Okay. Because all we really have on hand is wax, uh, rocks, and that's about it. Sacrifice of faith. For the spirits, flames of passion. Which feels a bit long-winded for a clue. I know, right? It says body. Okay. Well. Got some more wax. Joy. Well, go a bit longer, I guess, and see if there's more clues. Oh, great. What was that? Since you're running, seems to be full of surprises. Better watch our step. It's not just a scratch. I can still walk. Yeah, still vulnerable. You fight in the dark, and your light fades. It's game over. Chase our beautiful feelings and separate themselves from the road to never be found again. I know, right? No, we can't really die. The kids that lose their kids along the road lose themselves forever. They never go back to the how they were before. They became creatures of the dark. Call them the derailed. Kids who lost their path and never return home. Okay, let me guess. This one's also going to be bugged. Well, no. Aromatic herb, huh? Well. Still can't open it. Soul. Oh, great. So we can't place anything on top of it until we find more clues. Oh, great. Do I have to worry about random traps hitting us? Okay. 
Okay. A wooden cross, eh? Well, it's definitely not going to be that one. Ugh. Okay. Or maybe the chest opened up. Nope. Ugh, I just... Okay, another one. Okay, crown of thorns, okay. Well, I guess there's one more item to grab. Oh, great. That's uh, coming towards us. How? And gosh darn is that art horribly. Off center. Projection, huh? Okay. Okay. Don't have enough points. Well, no. Well. Just attack him, I guess. I assume we build emotion by attacking. Okay. Just murder him. All his defenses are down. Well, now. Okay, scream at him and stuff. Defense drop. Defend. Okay, it just gives us emotional build. It doesn't restore health. Okay. Not as useful as I was hoping it'd be. Come on, just die already. Like, seriously. Well, we managed to get rid of it for now. A strange heart, huh? I know, right? Yeah, it's complete mystery. It's possible to tell what goes through their crazy minds. Okay. Well. Body. Okay. Does it now? Soul. Okay. Well, guess that worked out. The Sacred Heart, huh? I suppose so. Okay, so now it will burn slower, I can hope. Well, that'll do it for this episode, I suppose. Till next time, then. See ya.